the respiratory system. So if a dust particle were to enter, it enter through the anterior nares, which is right here, and that's basically the nostril. So then this right here, this little circular thing is the vestibule, um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, you enter, this would be entering the nasal cavity. And in the nasal cavity, the top would be the ethmoid bone, and the bottom would be the palatine process of the maxilla. So up here we would have like the olfactory bulbs and um, it's connected through the olfactory nerves and this connects through the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. Um, and then you have the septum, which is up here and this is what you feel right here. And the septum is about three, is three parts and the top is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid, which would be right up here. And then you have the vomer, which I tried to kind of illustrate like kind of what it would look like, but it's in the middle. And then the bottom is the, um, the palatine process of the maxilla. Uh, and then these folds are like, they're fold looking things are called turbinates. And then this right here is the posterior nares. So then this leads us to the pharynx. And then this picture right here is shows the pharynx a little better. You can see the three parts. Uh, I tried to outline them. So the top one is the nasopharynx because it's behind the nose, the oropharynx because it's behind the mouth, and then the laryngopharynx because it's by the larynx. So that leads us into the larynx, which is here. And the larynx leads into the trachea. And then this right here is the epiglottis, which is in the back of your mouth. And so, um, like I said, the larynx leads into the trachea, but you can see the larynx better in this picture. Um, more zoomed in, more detailed of the larynx. And then right here would be the vocal cords, and right here is the thyroid cartilage. And um, like I said before, the larynx leads into the trachea, and then the trachea leads into the lungs. And so you can see this in this picture. So we have the larynx with the thyroid cartilage, and then we have the trachea, and this leads into the lungs. And the lungs have bronchi, um, which are illustrated better in this picture right here. Um, it's the same, you still have the larynx with the thyroid cartilage going to the trachea, going to the lungs, but here the bronchi are better able to be seen. So um, these are, um, you can tell them apart because this first branch is the primary bronchi, and then the ones that branch off of the first are the secondary bronchi, which would be here, and then the ones that branch off of those is the tertiary bronchi, which is here, which it's like the um, branches on a tree, so primary, secondary, tertiary, and then each one has like these bronchioles, which is right here, and it's um, a little hard to see, but I have it zoomed in. And so each one of these are alveoli, each one of these little things, and then right here, would be alveolar ducts and then right here would be an alveolar sac and that's the respiratory system